This tutorial is of rabbits in a field with some wildflowers. Zahara posted a suggestion for a future tutorial of rabbits and wildflowers. It so happens that on one of my many days at Tallahassee Downtown Market, I also met Zahara at my pitch fair. So the initial drawing of the rabbits is in pencil as usual. And the paper that I'm using today is 140 pound rough Fabriano taped down around the edges. The materials are Winsor & Newton transparent watercolors of the professional grade. The brushes used are mainly small ones for details such as a number four pro art, sometimes a number one for very fine details and a small flat brush. Later on, when laying in the grass areas, I'll use a larger round brush such as a 10 or 12 also a larger flat brush so painting in some details of the rabbit and as is often the case uh, painting first of all a color as a ground following the basic shape of the rabbit the mother rabbit at this stage and then you'll see once that's dried, that ground area, I'm able to lay on some darker colour and I lay that in a certain way that it makes it look like fur. You'll see that come on in much more detail later. <coughs> so this rabbit you'll see is eating something, some grass or one of the stems from the wildflowers. That will come later. And um, as much as possible, you leave in certain um, parts of the paper for the white areas. Exceptionally, I may have to add a little bit of titanium here and there to emphasize white areas, but that will be to very much a minimum. So you can see lots of white areas have been left, the paper. Still mainly using a number four for most of the painting. And now laying in that fur, darker color on top of the underpainting. Making sure that that's varied to give it more interest and make it look like fur. Now progressing on to some of the smaller rabbits on either side of the mother rabbit. Same principle, laying down the first underwash, underpainting, um, mainly number four again. You can also see um, that uh, I'm leaving various white areas again for this small rabbit mainly on the face, around the eye area. The colours for the rabbits are mainly a mixture of light red and a real in or Windsor yellow. For the darker areas, add a little touch of Windsor blue. I've mentioned before that it's useful keeping a spare piece of paper to one side and you can test your mix of colours on that spare piece of paper as you go along and see if you've got the right intensity etc or whether you need a little bit more water with it. And here and there I'm just demonstrating that you can dab whilst it's still wet, dab with a tissue to lift as necessary. So the blue background is um, a bit more 
prominent now, just that was carefully painted around the rabbits, wet in wet, and now laying down some of the distant grass areas. The grass in the distance will be lighter and you'll see when we get onto the middle and foreground areas, it will get darker. So I've left white areas where the wildflowers will be painted in later. Making sure I cover certain areas in between the rabbits. And now using a flat brush, sort of medium sized flat brush. Um, I find a flat brush useful when you're doing grass areas. I could do the underwash using a pointed brush, um, say a number eight or 10 or something like that. But I'm just demonstrating this time using the flat brush. So wet in wet, getting darker when you get to the bottom of the painting, the grass that's nearest to you. Continuing with that, still wet in wet. Now that's dried and as you can see, it always dries lighter. I've mentioned this before. Um, when you lay the paint down, it looks dark, but it dries lighter. Dropping in various wildflowers here and there. And as I say, you just experiment with what colors you like to use for those. You might want colors that really pop or that are subdued or whatever, variation in the types of flowers, etc. I'm using a slightly smaller brush here, probably a number two, I think that would do the trick for the uh, wildflowers. Also for laying in the stems of the flowers. Please remember to like and subscribe because if you do so, you'll see future videos. You'll be notified when they're posted and it's all free. So now I have gone to a larger pointed brush um, to lay in wet in wet some of that darker grass area. And then I'll, I'll go back to the flat brush when I want those strands of grass coming through. Now I'm using quite a small flat brush and upward strokes following the lines of the grass. So drawing in the grass with paint. And getting darker. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial. It's a quick one. Please like and subscribe to see future tutorials and it's all free. So bye for now and happy painting until the next time.